We turn now to a big story in education. Think of all the American presidents in your lifetime who've said their goal is a quality education for every American. Well, tonight there's new evidence this country is falling far short, dangerously short, in just the number of Americans graduating from high school. The one number that jumps off the page is this one. Only 47% of this nation's black males graduated from high school in the 0708 year. Again, that's just one number. It's a crisis big enough to trigger real fears of two separate American societies, those with an education and those without. Our report tonight from our education correspondent, Rahema Ellis. More than half the nation's black male students will not graduate from high school, according to a report by the Schott Foundation, a nonpartisan agency that tracks public school performance. Among the worst performing public school districts with large black male populations, New York City and Philadelphia graduated only 28% of black male students in 2008. In Broward County, Florida, the number was 39%, Chicago, 44%, and Nashville, Tennessee, 47%. Far below 78%, the nationwide graduation rate for all public school students, and 98% for private school students. The study's author argues it's not a matter of race, but resources. When you look at the data and you look at the number of white males who are in poor, poorly resourced districts like Detroit, uh, you will find that the graduation rate for white males is only 19 percent. But the study emphasizes black males are less likely to have access to early education, highly effective teachers, and resources like tutors and well-stocked libraries. In Harlem, Jeffrey Canada has spent his career raising money to run his public charter school like a private school. We can't afford as a nation to remove a whole group of folks from being taxpayers and actually put them as expenses uh, for the taxpayers to have to pay for. Success is happening in Chicago at Urban Prep Academy. The entire senior class in this all-black male public charter school graduated and all are college bound. What we do at the school is we have an extended school day, we have an extended school year, we set high expectations, we give the students an opportunity and a, a pathway, a roadmap to meet those expectations. And nationwide, governors in 48 states have agreed it is time to raise the common core standards for children at every grade level to make sure they're on track for graduation and beyond. Brian? Kind of a national embarrassment, ton of reasons why this has happened, but if you're watching this at home tonight, you're probably thinking, how can we possibly fix this? The Obama administration has a plan, a contest they call Race to the Top, $4 billion they want to award to those states that do certain things. Link teacher pay to student performance, increase the number of charter schools, shut down failing schools, and actually adopt those core standards. They also say you've got to get student discipline under control and parents have to get involved. A student's report card should never be a surprise to a parent who's paying attention, not just at the end of the year, but at the beginning, right now. Goes all the way to each individual home. Rahima Ellis, who covers education for us. Thank you, as always. This topic will come up again Again with NBC News when we host the Education Nation Summit right here at Rockefeller Plaza. It will include a series of reports on this broadcast and others beginning September 26th. And the goal of this massive gathering is to try to figure out how best to improve education across this country. 